Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Sherlock, The Abominable Bride. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on in to a Sherlock movie. Apparently, this was heavily requested and, um, in fact, demanded that I watch this between seasons three and four of Sherlock. We've been diving into that show here on my channel, and it's been a lot of fun. I've definitely been enjoying it a lot, enjoying the characters a lot, and I really had fun with season three in particular. I feel like there was a lot more humor, a lot more quirky and fun editing, and just things that made me laugh. I really do feel like I love these characters a lot more now, and season three was just a blast. And I was fully ready to dive on into season four, to be honest with y'all. I thought that when people were referring to bonus content, they meant different kind of content, like extra episodics or talking about the episodes because there is stuff like that on Amazon. But no, in fact, people were talking about this movie, which I didn't even know existed. Regardless, though, I am very excited. I do love these characters immensely. Sherlock, so far stylistically, has been unlike a lot of other stuff that I've watched here on my channel or just in my life. So it is a more unique experience and I do appreciate it for that. I have no idea what this movie is gonna be about. I, if I had to guess, I would think Mary is gonna be in the movie and it's maybe gonna be about her story a little bit just because the abominable bride, I mean, Watson just got married, she was his bride. That's the connection that I'm drawing. That's the only thing I think it could be about. So that's my hypothesis, but I really have no clue. And that's all I really have for this intro. I'm just excited to dive on into this movie with y'all. So I want to keep this intro short and sweet. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. I've already been gone four minutes. Well, I certainly hope you've learned your lesson. <laughs> I love, I love, I honestly do love that line from his brother. It's so funny. I hope you've learned your lesson because you need to turn around and come back. <laughs> Huh? Did we just go back in time? Wait a minute, what? The Second Afghan War brought honors and promotion to many. Oh, wait a minute. How far back in time did we go? Wait a minute, what? I returned to England with my health irretrievably ruined and my future bleak. What? We're getting the old timey version of them now? Instead of the modernized Sherlock? Watson! Stumford! But it's the same cast, but just different time period. That's amazing. So what now? I need a place to live. Wait, so this movie is just like, a, is a retelling of the stuff we've already seen, but in the more proper time period for Sherlock? Oh my God, I was not expecting this, you guys. I really was not. Beating corpses to establish how long after death bruising is still possible. Is there a medical point to that? He looked humored by that. Like he was like, oh, I want to give it a try. <laughs> Oh, I really like that outfit. Ooh, little chain. I also play the violin and smoke a pipe. I presume that's not a problem. Uh, oh, well, and you're clearly acclimatized and never getting to the end of a sentence. We'll get along splendidly. Because <laughs> he's like, I will talk right over you. <laughs> wow, I am shocked. This is really just, we're just reliving everything, but differently. Yes, he's always been like that. <laughs> and something's never changed. Mr. Holmes. Oh, he's wearing the hat, non-ironically. The Abominable Bride. That's the story we're gonna tell, huh? Mrs. Hudson, there is a woman in my sitting room. She's being so creepy. Why didn't you ask her? How could I? What with me not talking and everything? <gasps> She's so sassy. She takes it personally. Nice. She's perfectly capable of starving us. She is perfectly capable of starving you. You better write a better plot for her. You have recently married a man of a seemingly kindly disposition who has now abandoned you for an unsavory companion of dubious morals. All of this is, of course, perfectly evident from your perfume. Is it Mary? It is, huh? Oh, it is. Why in God's name are you pretending to be a client? Because I could think of no other way to see my husband. Has she not seen him in a long time? I don't mind you going, my darling. I mind you leaving me behind. But what could you do? Well, what do you do? She's the abominable bride. I knew it. Lestrade, just stop loitering by the door. And Lestrade. <laughs> How did you know it was me? Oh, I don't like the mutton chops, man. Well, since you arrived, you've addressed over 40% of your remarks to my decanter. Watson, give the inspector what he so clearly wants. <laughs> my man. From the beginning, then. 
Oh, that transition. Jesus. Wait, is this the abominable bride? Never mind. You. She got to fix her lipstick. Who's she hunting down? She seems to be like shooting at everybody. A moment. She losing it? What is going on with this woman? Okay, Mary's not the abominable bride. I take it back. Ooh, fun little set, little pop-up wall. I love it. That is fun. Emilia Ricoletti. Yesterday was her wedding anniversary. The police. Her anniversary. She wasn't happy about it? Standard procedure. Why are you telling us what may be presumed? Because of what happened next. Oh, God. What happened next? Oh, smoke transition. Wow, so mysterious. Do not forget me. Do not. She showed up in style to murder his ass. You, you, you're dead. You, you can't be here. You, you died. Am I not beautiful, Thomas? She, she didn't die? What does it look like, my handsome friend? She does actually look like a ghost. It's kind of crazy. It's a shotgun wedding. A shotgun wedding! She's crazy. And she's got the head wound. Holy f Just disappearing into the night fog. She does feel like, you know, this whole thing I was saying in the beginning, like just the period that we're in and the fact that it's holiday season makes me think of like a Christmas carol. She does feel like the ghost of Christmas future, like the death ghost. <laughs> I'm part of a campaign, you know. Oh, campaign? Votes for women. And are you, are you for or against? Get out. <laughs> Poor Mary. She's far more capable. I almost forgot that came for you. Oh. Is she still like a, an assassin in this? life immediately uh, friend in need oh dear what friend england england what is she doing holmes what Rupa. huh who is this person you got to work oh what he's in charge what who is this guy he looks like he's 20. is there anything to which you would like to draw my attention nothing at all mr oh it's molly I didn't even recognize her. She's wearing a mustache. <laughs> Is she a man? Because women wouldn't be allowed to have a job like this in this time, so they just made her a man. She's been categorically identified. Beyond a doubt, it is her. She also speaking so low, I didn't notice. A smear of blood on her finger. That could have happened any number of ways. Indeed. It wasn't there earlier. Oh, it popped up later? That's freaking creepy. I will say, I love how the wittiness and fast-paced dialogue is still present, but it's got this flair to it that feels very, you know, late 17th century. I am observant in some ways. Really? Yes, amazing. What one has to do to get ahead in a man's world. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Saying that for. Nothing, no reason. Get back to work. He notices that she's that she's a woman. Wait, that's so funny. So everybody thinks she's a man, except Watson's like, I know you're a lady. Ah! <laughs> I do love Watson. He still didn't out her, you know? He just used it as a tactic to be like, I'm fucking observant, girl, okay? Also, it's so funny, like she hates Sherlock in this version. She's so much sassier. Absolute silence. Oh, it's this. Oh, we're gonna see Mycroft. We're seeing Mycroft. It's the same room where you're not allowed to talk. Oh my god, this is so dorky. The fact that you can't talk. It just makes. It reminds me of like a country club where you can't have your phone. Have you guys ever been to a country club where you have to like dress a certain way? And oh, he's a fan. That's lovely. What? He doesn't know what he's saying. My potato. Needs work, Watson. Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> we, I really am Watson, man. I would not, I'd be so lost. To anyone who wishes to study mankind, this is the spot. Andy, really, is your ever-expanding backside is permanently glued to it? Good morning, brother mine. Sherlock. Why is his brother massively overweight in this version? I can promise you a superior distraction. On one condition. 
Have another plum pudding. There's one on the way. Why are you trying to kill your brother, bro? Why are you trying to kill your brother? Something has happened, Mr. Holmes. Something unusual and terrifying. Then you are in luck. <laughs> luck. Those are my specialisms. This is really very promising. For you? Wow, great. Please do tell us what has so distressed you. Yeah, maybe hide your joy for two seconds. The fact is, I'm not sure this comes within your purview, Mr. Holmes. No? Lord, help me. She looks really scared. Maybe a matter for a priest. Oh, exorcism territory? What's going on? Demons? Some haunted is gonna happen. Oh, he received... Is it the same kind of letter that Mary received? He looks like he's seen a ghost. What are those? Those look like cloves of garlic. What are those? Eustace, what does this mean? <laughs> death. What? It means death. Huh? Uh, nothing. It's, uh... It's nothing. Why would you hide that from her? Why does it mean death? It's nothing. They don't have a very healthy relationship, huh? They don't communicate about these things, huh? He tried to hide it. Eustace? Oh, he's staring in the mirror. Oh no, out the window. <laughs> Eustace. She's come for me, Louisa. Ooh. Oh God, help me, my sins have found me out. Is it Mary? Is Mary? I just see like Mary is gonna come assassinate him or something. Or is it gonna be the abominable bride in the fog? Oh, I see no one. Oh, in the maze, they have a maze. Oh, that's great. It was her. Okay, who was her? It was the bride. The abominable bride. Did your husband describe? Nothing until this morning. This morning. Again. Oh no. Eustace, you're losing it, man. He's gonna go in the maze. Oh my God. Wow, they have a really, they're rich. They have a sprawling property. Oh, he's missing a shoe. It's over, he's dead. Why even have a maze? Like truly, you're just inviting chaos into your life. Oh, you, it's me! Oh, wow, this is scary. I like the way they executed this. She's Amelia Ricolet. Okay, how do you know her, though? Oh my God, she's coming in like a ghost. She's hovering in. This night, Eustace Carmichael, you will die. And then he, pa did he just collapse? Did he just die like that? And now she's gone? What the f is going on, bro? Cause now we've got two witnesses. And how did he just collapse like that? May I ask, how is your husband this morning? Uh, he refuses to speak about them. Oh, he's not dead. Okay, great, he just collapsed. No, no, he must stay exactly where he is. Well, you don't think he's in danger? Oh no, somebody definitely wants to kill him, but that's good for us. You can't set a trap without bait. <laughs> my husband is not bait, Mr. Holmes. Nobody could be if we play our cards right now, listen. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> dude, read the room. Sucks at reading the room. Eustace is to die tonight. Holmes. And we should probably avoid that. Definitely. Definitely avoid that. Not probably. Definitely. Holy I now rely on you to keep an eye on things, but he must never suspect you are working for me. Are you clear on that, Watson? Oh, Watson. Oh, that Watson! You can rely on me, Mr. Holmes. I was wondering when Mary was going to come back around. Great! This is great. I'm glad she gets to do something. Ricoletti? Never heard of her. Oh, God, dude. You're such a bad liar, bro. We'll show ourselves out. I hope to see you again in the morning. You will not. Then sadly, I shall be solving your murder. Good day. <laughs> He's just insufferable. He does not deserve the wife that he has. She did well for herself. I mean, look at this place. Marriage is not a subject upon which I dwell. Now, why not? What's the matter with you this evening? That watch that you're wearing, there's a photograph inside it. I glimpsed it once. I believe it is... Irene, a... the woman. You waited till I'd fallen asleep and looked at it. Yes, I did. <laughs> you scoundrel, Watson. A very nice photograph. Why are you talking like this? Why are you so determined to be alone? Are you quite well, Watson? Are you well for asking questions? God forbid he care about his friend. If you are referring to romantic entanglement, Watson, which I rather fear you are, as I have often explained before, all emotion is abhorrent to me. Abhorrent. Mm. It is the grit in a sensitive instrument. I think that's what you tell yourself, but I don't think you actually feel that. Oh, he wrote that. He's quoting what he wrote. Ah ha ha! Stop gaslighting him, bro. You've lived a life. You have a past. A what? Well, well, you must have had. At what? You know. No. Experience. Pass me your revolver. I have a sudden need to use it. Pass me your revolver. <laughs> 
You must have impulses. Dear Lord, I have never... Oh, God, this anything. conversation is so awkward. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> what made you like this? Oh, Watson, nothing made me. Ooh, that's a great time for the noises to come. God. Wait. God. Wait, he was hearing the dog in his mind, huh? The dog wasn't, was that the dog of his past? Like his childhood? Was that the dog from his childhood that, what's his name, that creepy guy mentioned in the last season? It's at night for the time of year, is it not? It cannot be true, Holmes. It cannot. No, it can't. It really did look like a ghost. You promised to keep him safe. You promised. He tried, ma'am, but your husband was an ass and stubborn and didn't want to talk about it, okay? Oh, he dead, dead, uh-huh. Oh, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. Watson, run. I'm scared for you. She's going to be right there. A jump scare is coming. I'm scared. Oh, and I knew she was going to be behind him. I knew. Is he being haunted next? Uh-oh. Jesus Christ. He's not tied to the case. Leave him alone. I gave an undertaking to protect that man. Now he's lying there with a dagger in his breast. In fact, you gave an undertaking to investigate his murder. That's true. You did. You can't. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink, okay? He didn't want to accept your help. You said you'd investigate his murder, and now that's what you're going to do. Don't feel bad. I said the murderer did leave a note. No, they didn't. Wait. There's a message tied to the deck. You must have seen no, it. There's no message. Yes. There was no message when I found the... Oh, it's there now? Are you kidding me it wasn't there and now it's there that's actually crazy that's crazy wow that shaky close-up cam on it was fun it's not the woman is it do you miss him, miss him. moriarty's dead oh right moriarty says miss me right This is his, the old timey version of him going to his mind palace. Instead of the words that look like text, it's old newspaper prints. Did you know that dust is largely composed of human skin? Ew, that's gross. Ah! What? <laughs> his choices are brilliant, though. My God, but blah. I know what you're doing. The bride put a gun in her mouth and shot the back of her head off, and then she came back. Why did the whole world just shake like that? Like a little earthquake. How? Don't you? It's tearing your world apart, not knowing. Is that why? For the sake of Mrs. Hudson's wallpaper, I must remind you that one false move with your finger and you will be dead. <laughs> dead is the new sexy? Is that what he was saying? <laughs> dead is the new sexy. Man, I kind of wish captions hadn't ruined that for me. This is all in his head, though. He's fine. How oh, can you be alive? How do I look? Oh, there's gonna be a wound in the back of his head. Oh, ew. I'm good. You can be honest. Is it noticeable? <laughs> How could you survive? Well, maybe I could backcomb. I saw you. Backcomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get a little wig. It'll cover it up. Because it's not the fall that kills you, Sherlock. It's the landing. The landing. Oh, wow. Did he fall asleep and have that whole dream in four minutes? It was a case, a famous one from 100 years ago. I had all the details perfect. I was there, all of it, everything. I was immersed. I was immersed too. I want you to go back too. What did you say? I didn't say anything. No, you did. You said, which is it today? Morphine or cocaine? Ooh, fun little editing choice there to have him say it in his voice. Morphine or cocaine, which is it today? Oh, he just went back. I was on a jet. That was so trippy! Holmes! I'm fine! He's really not, but... Not that one. This one. Why? You're Sherlock Holmes, wear the damn hat. It's like, stop asking questions. That's your hat. This is my hat. We have hats. What's going on? Oh, good old Watson. How will we fill the time if you didn't ask questions? Sherlock. Tell me where my bloody wife is, you pompous prick, or I'll punch your lights out. Was that modern what? Holmes, where is she? Oh my god! Wow, this is so trippy. Oh, there she is. What the devil? I found them. What is all this peril? Having a seance here. 
They're having a ceremony? What the devil are you doing here? I've been making inquiries. Mr. Holmes asked me. Holmes, how could you? Oh, right, the other no, Holmes. Not him, the clever one. <laughs> My theory is that Mrs. Riccoletti had help. Help from her friends. Bravo, Mary. The clever one. The clever one? Wait a minute. <laughs> Has it never occurred to you your wife is excessively skilled for a nurse? Of course it hasn't. Because he knows what a nurse is capable of. Must be difficult. Being the slow little brother. Ooh. Now I sped up enough chatter, let's concentrate. <laughs> Stop talking about that, about my brother. <laughs> I love that she managed to like, when he was like, has it ever occurred to you that she's a bit clever for a nurse? I like that she was able to be like, well, no, because he knows that nurses are actually f***ing smart. Sorry, I could never resist a gong or a touch of the dramatic. Never have guessed. Though it seems you share my enthusiasm in that regard. Oh my God, they don't even look surprised. Well, I guess, how would you know? <laughs> They're covered up. <laughs> she places one of the revolvers in her mouth while actually firing the other into the ground. Oh. And, with blood, and thus her apparent suicide is witnessed by the frightened crowd below. Oh, and then we had a fake body. The invisible army hovering at our elbow, tending to our homes, raising our children, not allowed so much as a vote. Oh, it's all women wanting to earn the right to vote? Were the men that were killed, like, high up in politics? Look around you. This room is full of brides. They all put on the act. Smart. Once she had risen, anyone could be her. Mm, right, because everybody was scared. You didn't need, like, they weren't going to pay that close of attention anymore. Once the idea exists, it cannot be killed. Exactly. They've already planted the seeds of paranoia and fear. Isn't that right, Lady Carmichael? One small detail doesn't quite make sense to me, however. Why engage me to prevent a murder you intended to commit? It doesn't quite make sense. Doesn't quite make sense. Of course it doesn't make sense. It's not real. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Peekaboo. <laughs> because none of this is really real. No, not you. Ooh, the lighting shift. It's like we're in hell now. Holy sh**. Mrs. Amelia Riccoletti, I need to know where she was buried. What? 120 years ago. That would take weeks to find if those records even exist, even with my resources. Got it. She got it. <laughs> I like that Mary's at least helping him out. And we did this by hand? Holy <laughs> Boys might want to put on some N95 masks first. Lovely. Great. Ew. The worms are very much alive. They're thriving. Oh, they hear it too. What? <laughs> oh, it's a nightmare, I was gonna say. This doesn't make sense. Now he's back again! I'm getting whiplash, bro. Oh, he's at the bottom of the waterfall, though. Hi, Moriarty, hello. The setting's a shade melodramatic, don't you think? <laughs> For you and me? Not at all. Yeah, you guys are both very theatrical. You know what I am. I'm Moriarty, the Napoleon of crime. The Napoleon of crime? What does that mean? You're short and egotistical? What, you gotta conquer everyone? What does that mean? But when it comes to the matter of unarmed combat on the edge of a precipice, you're going in the water. Short ass. Short ass. <laughs> he just punched him in the throat so fast. Oh, you think you're so big and strong, Sherlock? He does fight dirtier than you. He did fight very dirty. He grabbed him by the ears, punched him in the throat. I don't know. He's winning. It's always just you and me. Oh, John's here? What the heck? Professor, if you wouldn't mind stepping away from my friend, I do believe he finds your attention a shade annoying. That's not fair, there's two of you. <laughs> That's not fair. On your knees, Professor. <laughs> this looks like such a fun scene to shoot, like so dramatic with the water, man. Why don't you two just elope, for God's sake? I know, right? Would you mind? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted to kick him over. So how do you plan to wake up? Oh. Maybe go over the waterfall? I should think like this. Yeah. Between you and me, John, I always survive a fall. True. But how? 
Elementary, my dear Watson. Oh! He's gonna jump off like it's a dive. That's funny. Elementary. I forgot that that's something that he says in the old, like the classic books. Elementary, my dear Watson. That's actually so funny. I love that they added that in. Oh, there we go. It's funny. It was like he was flying. Oh, did he wake up on the plane again? He's back on the plane. Great. What are you still doing here? Should you be off getting me a pardon or something? Like a proper big brother? Aww. Dr. Watson, look after him. You can tell Mycroft is really concerned yeah. about him. Oh, that actually broke my heart. Redbeard. What does Redbeard mean? Oh, the dog. Isn't Redbeard the dog? What is it with the dog? Are we going to get that information in season four? Please. In any case, I know I would be very much at home in such a world. Huh. I don't think I would be. I beg to differ. But then I've always known I was a man out of his time. Hmm. Out of his time. And now it's modern day again. Wow. I understand why I needed to watch this between seasons three and four. Like it definitely was very relevant. But I'm kind of confused about the point of the whole Abominable Bride story and how it will tie into Moriarty. Other than maybe like you just can't kill an idea, like the idea of Moriarty will terrorize him forever just in the way that the Abominable Bride is an idea that you can't kill. Because once you put that fear in people's minds and they believe it, it's permanent. And in that way, Moriarty is the same. And then also just using the story to demonstrate kind of manic world that Sherlock loses himself in with the mind palace and going back and forth between time periods and his drug usage and um, demonstrating how it really is more of a problem than maybe we were let onto it being a problem in season three because I feel like in season three he was using more drugs but it seemed like it was all intentional to like plant a seed for that last villain to make it seem like that was his weak point but in reality there's more demons haunting him than maybe we've been led on to. And Mycroft knows about it with Redbeard. But I'll be interested to see how it all ties into season four. Because right now I will admit like this was a lot of fun, but I feel like I'm a little confused as to how it's all going to tie into the fourth season. But I really liked getting to see this back and forth between two different time periods and getting to see the old timey Sherlock in the proper time period with the proper rhetoric, the proper lines, you know, elementary dear Watson, the game is afoot, him wearing the right hat, all of these things stylistically that just fit Sherlock Holmes. It was really fun and you can tell the actors just had a blast with it. I really enjoyed getting to see these characters and actors all play around with like a different style, different wardrobe, different manner of speaking, different way of carrying themselves. I especially liked getting to see Molly in a more like confident and sassy and determined position. All in all, this was a fun movie. I'm definitely glad I watched it before diving into the fourth and final season with you all. But that's all I have for this video. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this one a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this in the future for all of y'all. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.